Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Schreiber. I am a professor of music theory, composition, and recording technology at Mississippi Valley State University. And I would like to welcome everyone to Music Appreciation. This is MU 107 online. I have been teaching at Valley for 21 years and have been doing music appreciation since. 2017 and have been doing music appreciation online since 2020. So the first thing I would like to do is show you Canvas and I'm going to share a screen here. Okay, this is the dashboard when you log into Canvas. It says dashboard right here. These are my courses. This one is your course. I'm going to select that course. And a couple of things here. Sometimes when you open this up, everything is open and you might not want that all open. You can hit collapse all. And you can also expand all, but I wouldn't do that. I would just start here in the start here section. This is the first thing you need to look at. And you can just click on it or click the down arrow. Anyways, um, here it is the start here, welcome. This is actually what I'm recording right now for you. And then there's a meet the instructor, that's just a, my bio. And this is technical skills and requirements. This you might be interested in. So let's check this out for a minute here. Technical skills and requirements. If you're not familiar with online stuff, this would be the things that you might need to look over. Um, goes on and then you can go down here and hit next and by hitting next it takes you to the next thing in the module I would not be using assignments and quizzes I would always or pages or anything like that I would always be in your home page by the way your home page is the modules page and you can go to either of them here we go next so the, the next says guidelines for student participation in online discussion forums. Now our class won't be doing that. However, other classes might, and there's something in here that you have to do one anyways. So let's go to the next one. Okay, this is an activity. Let me do this so you can see where it is. I'm just putting this in a new tab here. This is under activities. This is called Exploring Canvas and Week One Discussion. Now this whole module right here is, is brand new, instituted by the university and I don't control that. So you're gonna have to do this. And this is a quiz and this is a discussion forum right here. I'm going to go back to this right here. This is the quiz. Uh, what it is, is it's a series of videos, and then they ask you questions, okay? And if we go to the next one, then this is a discussion. This is basically, you're going to write something about your name, your major, my learning goals for this course, and my two favorite hobbies and interests. And then you have to go back, and you probably might have to go back later if, uh, if other people haven't replied yet, but you need to respond to at least two of your peers by selecting reply button below and the reply button below and you search for the person there. Okay, here we are back on the modules page. Remember I said the modules page is the same as the home page. Anyways, um, there was the start here. We just went through, this is called course resources. You actually won't see this. This is for me. The first thing here is module one, and I'm gonna open it so we can look at what's going on here. Module one consists of several parts. Usually it's between five and 10. I think this one has six. Okay, they're relatively short and pretty easy to do. So for instance, here, we're gonna go into the introduction, the very first thing. This is something you'll have to do in week one. So here's a video, you click on the video, you watch the video. And then you won't see all this actually, this is my 
version of, of Canvas. Uh, there is a student version of Canvas, but I can't show you some of these things, right, that we're trying to do right now because it hasn't turned on. Once it turns on, then I can show it to you in that view, but you, you'll kind of get the idea. It's relatively simple. Like you won't have this, I don't think. And I'm not sure if you have this, but possibly you do. Here, I'm hitting next. By hitting next, I'm going to the very next thing in this module, which is quiz 1.1. Now, it comes up and it might say, take the quiz. Mine just says preview because at this point, I can only preview things, but I'm gonna select the preview and it's gonna come up with a question. Now, if you look over here, there are four questions, one, two, three, and four. Each one is worth a quarter of a point, okay? These I call our attendance quizzes. They're very small quizzes, but in the end, they add up to uh, like about 150 points. So don't take these lightly. Uh, anyways, it says, what is pitch? And one answer here is degrees of loudness and softness in music. The second one, it says the organize, excuse me, the organization of beats into regular groups. And it continues on. The third one says a reoccurring pattern of tension and release. And the fourth one says relative highness or lowness we hear in a sound. The answer is this one right here. Okay, I'm gonna hit next. Okay, then remember, here's these questions. Now, let's just say I go down a couple of questions and I say, oh, this is the answer to that question, not the one I put it on. You can always back up to a question or go forward to a question. Ones that you've answered have check marks. Ones that you haven't answered have question marks. Okay, let's just assume I've answered a few of these questions and I'm going to submit the quiz. By submitting the quiz, if I haven't answered all the questions, it'll tell you. In this case, it says, I have three unanswered questions. See the sidebar for details. This is the sidebar right here. I would hit cancel and finish the questions, or I would hit submit. In this case, for me, I'm just moving forward here. And generally, this is how this course kind of works. So I would always be, be going through this course and clicking the next button. Once I've submitted this below here, it gives me the answers. And after that, I want to hit next. Moves us to the very next thing. Or I could go backwards, but I don't you, you don't you should need to. You should always do these in order because sometimes some of the things that you need to know to answer a question are in something earlier. Okay, so here's two elements of music. All right, I'm gonna refer back to this document right here, which we're back in the, the home tab or the modules tab. It has elements of music here. That's what we were looking at. I'm just gonna open it like this so we can see this again. So we have, what's called a module overview and instructional material in module one. And I'm gonna click on that. In the very beginning of each module, you're gonna have an overview and have instructional material. And we'll talk about what it is we're, we're dealing with here. Learning objectives, learning objectives. Again, this has two parts to it. Uh, required reading from the textbook. This is where it comes from our textbook. Goals, objectives, and student learning outcomes, and here they are. Then you would just hit next. And by hitting next, you will arrive at the introduction uh, to elements of music, which is where we were just a little while ago. So I'm gonna hit the home page here. So here we are, this is the entire module. Module overview of instructional material, module one. Okay, so, so now we have introduction of music, elements of music one, we already did that. Quiz 1.1, then module 1.2, quiz 1.2, module 1.3, quiz 1.3, and so on. So we have module or module 1.4 with a quiz also, module 1.5, and then there's a quiz, and module 1.6, and then there's a quiz. And then we have what's called a weekly wrap up of the module. Okay, we would select this. So it just it just says a few things. You can read it. So 
So now let's take a look at the syllabus. The syllabus tab is right here. Click on the syllabus tab. I will also associate a link to the syllabus tab underneath this video. So there's two things here. There's a syllabus and then just something that says Paul Schreiber, office hours, fall 2023. It has my office number, when I'm available and things like that. We're gonna open it for one second here. Okay, so there's my name. That's my office phone number. Warning, I'm not in my office very often. Uh, the best way to get a hold of me is in Canvas. Write me a, a letter in Canvas or write me from your MVSU email. This is important. If you're writing from email, it's gotta be MVSU email. Don't send it to me from Yahoo or Gmail. Sometimes those actually get put into my spam folder and I never see them. Okay, it's very important to do that. But if you write them from Canvas, it's best because I, I will always get them. Okay, this also shows where my classes are and my office hours. Let me explain to you where my office is. If you've ever been in the Walter Sillers complex, it's two buildings. Um, there's one that's two story and one there's one story. And, and the two story building is where my office is. There's a stairway that goes to the second floor. When you get to the top of that stairway, you look off on a 45 degree angle and it says studio offices. It's about three steps away. You open that door, it goes down and makes a, a turn. It's like a little L and my office is down that hallway. Okay, so let's um, get rid of this. Now let's look at the syllabus. All right, here's the syllabus. Um, it talks about, uh, again, it has some of the similar information that I just showed you. It talks about office hours. If you're having trouble with Canvas help, here's where you can go. Although you'll get a lot of help on that opening section that's done by the university. There's a course description here. There is no prerequisite to the class. I'm just scrolling down. You can read about the class content and so on now. Just so you know, this is a bunch of mumbo jumbo that nobody ever reads. I suggest you read it. I think it's important to read it. Okay, so here we go. This is the grading scale. So this is the evaluation. So within that, we have these quizzes. We have attendance, midterm, and final exam. So the quizzes are 20% and attendance is 30. Attendance is 30. We're going to get to that midterm written exam and final written exam those aren't written those are online just so you know just like this um and there's a grading scale 90 to 100 and so on and so forth and please read it and this is caught talks about canvas browser compatibility now this is maybe six months old but they didn't send me anything out new most because they talk about it in that first area before module one going down here going down here and in at the bottom there's something called important dates just so you know and these are university dates like monday we have a holiday fall graduation applications are due and so on and so forth and then after that there's a music appreciation weekly schedule and it kind of shows you what's going on in the class but i want to talk about attendance let me find it where it is in here. Attendance. Now in a nutshell, here's how attendance works. Each week you're gonna have one module. Sometimes you'll kind of have two and we'll discuss that in a little bit. But each week you have one module and, and it's opened up on Monday early morning, like midnight and or 12 a.m. And it goes until the following Sunday and then it closes. Now it's still available to do, but it does close, okay? That's part of your attendance. Now, it's only available for a certain period of time, and that period of time is after we get through a section, and then the module will, will disappear. In other words, the class is divided into sections, and I will discuss that in a minute. But anyways, that's basically how it goes. If you do one part of the module, in the quiz form, one quiz, you'll get one point, all right? If you do them all, you'll get two points. 
Okay, so you've done something, you get a point, but if you do them all, you get two points. And so it's roughly two points each week. I tally those up at the divisions of the course. There are four parts. It's worth 30%, it's important to do it. So now let's look down at the course, the weekly schedule. The course is divided up into four parts and you'll know that because we're gonna have a large quiz one, then we're gonna have a midterm, then we're gonna have large quiz two, and then we'll have a final exam. So if you look through here and it says, this is what we're doing the first week, module one, elements of music, week two, module two, so on and so forth. Week three, module three, and week four, it says module four, and then it says large, module five, large quiz one, based on modules one, two, three, and four. So what's gonna happen is around about Thursday of that week, you're gonna have a practice exam that's gonna open up for this large quiz and it'll be due the following Monday. But you'll know this because I send out a whole bunch of announcements. I do expect you to check the announcements. And then we move on to week five and week six. And that is really the second period. And it, it's just, uh, it's kind of changed a little bit. I would have liked to have had three things in it, but there's only two. It's, and it's based on when our midterm exams were put in. Here it is, uh, week seven, October 2nd, the week of October 2nd, which is Monday, October 2nd, uh, module eight midterm based on module six and seven. We're gonna review for midterm. That means on Monday, a practice exam will come up that contains all of the questions you can possibly do. And then it's gonna close after Tuesday and on Wednesday, the midterm exam will open up and then it will close that evening and you won't be able to do it. So you have to kind of keep up with the schedule. Following that, we have week eight, week nine, week 10 and week 11. And in, in week 11, we have large quiz two based on eight, nine, 10 and 11. And that's the third part of the class. And I want you to notice that after we do a section, we don't go back to that section in the test. Like we don't have a midterm that encompasses everything or a final that encompasses everything. We do it by the sections. And then the final section is the largest section. We have week 12, week 13. Then in the middle of this, we have fall Thanksgiving break and then week 14. And somehow I got it in there twice. I'm really sorry about that. I need to take it out of here, which I will do. Here's what we have. Week 12, week 13, which is module 14, 15. Then we have fall break, and then we have 16. And then I'm going to take this out. I'm sorry I left it in. It's in the wrong place. And then we have 17. And then following that is finals week. So module 18 will be the finals week. And again, it is based on 14, 15, 16, and 17. And our final exam will be Wednesday, December 13th. Okay. What I want to show you here is. These activities under start here have a due date of September 14th. So you need to do these by September 14th. Now, if you've never had Canvas, you're brand new, I would be doing this right away. But you're gonna have to set aside time because there is a good amount of videos you gotta watch and take little quizzes. I think that you get two chances at it, okay? But just get it done on the first, first one. Okay, then there's a, week one discussion also do 14th and we talked about that a little bit already okay i look forward to working with you this semester and um, i trust you'll have a great semester please pay attention to the announcements sometimes i say things in those announcements that are important for a quiz or a test and i find a lot of people don't do that and then they lose points so anyways have a great Valley Day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.